our mind is one of the most powerful tools we have to achieve our goals and to become successful in everything we do. That's something I learned thanks to the shooting sports. In this episode, eight-time Bianchi Cup Women's Champion Vera Koo discusses the mental aspect of competition and encourages us all to become warriors. About 30 years ago, I found myself extremely afraid of handguns because I know nothing about them. So I decided to face my fear. I went to take a handgun safety class and I learned how to handle it and shoot it properly. This has become my hobby for the last 25 years. In the beginning of my shooting, I had not dreamed of becoming a champion. That road seemed to be far too long. So I was just happy shooting a group on the target and make improvements every session. Those small rewards was enough to make me press on. When I first started to compete, my goal was to survive the match, to remain calm and remember to breathe. I probably look really ridiculous out there, a middle-aged Chinese woman learning how to shoot in a competition. My pride was occasionally hurt hurt and my ego was often bruised, but I got used to it. I discovered that if you constantly face your fears, you can become immune to them. To be honest, to this day, I'm still terrified of new environments, new places, and new people. When those fears creep in, I return to my first goal, survival. And that's how I get through those difficult situations. It is a powerful position to be in when you can no longer be embarrassed by failures. No one would know that you are actually embarrassed as long as you keep smiling and hold your head up high. Champions spend hours practicing for the smallest improvements. Even when they're good, they strive to be great. Champions today are men and women, young and old. The common characteristic among them is they are all strong, of heart. They're all warriors. Thank you, Vera, for your great advice. I already feel empowered and motivated, don't you? Keeping a strong mindset is not easy, but you can train your mind by being more aware of your thoughts. For example, instead of saying, I'm not good at this, say, I will train harder to become better. Or instead of saying, I always make that mistake, say, I will be more aware of my actions so I can do it better next time. To keep building a strong mindset, you need to practice what you're not good at until it becomes easy. You need to confront your fears until they become your strengths. And ultimately, remember that the power is within you. Thank you for watching. Together, we will show the world what the shooting sports are all about. I am Gabi Franco, and I'll see you next time in another episode of Tips and Tactics, sponsored by Cabela's Outdoor Fund.